Hey y'all, so if you want to find out how I go from this to this, stay tuned and keep watching. So I just finished washing out my deep condition, taking off my microfiber towel and then we're going to start sectioning our hair because especially with doing a heated style like this you need you need to work in sections I took the time to really detangle in the shower I'm still using this opportunity to get the kinks out while I can and then I'm going to use my Cantu Shea Butter Thermal Shield heat protectant spray it on just a little bit and start blow drying and guys I promise if this blow dryer did not have a very durable comb attachment I would not be using it because I'm sure as y'all know some of these comb attachments are not built for thick hair at all luckily this one is so you just see me kind of using my hand as a guide and then going through the roots as well Now that I'm done, I'm going to section again and this blow drying process probably only took about 30 minutes. It really doesn't take that long when you're working in sections. I do not spray any additional heat protectant spray so my hair isn't build up, but I am doing the chase method with a rat tail comb and gliding my hair through a maximum of three passes, nothing more. got done so far I do have a trim coming up within the next couple of weeks and y'all I'm almost to bra strap length hey <laughs> look at me cutting up I can't stand myself <laughs> I have a trim coming up I don't mind at all dusting my ends off and doing a little trim myself because I want my hair to look healthy I don't really care about length that much as long as my hair looks healthy then I know I'm doing a good job section again not as much as I did before because my hair is more manageable but I'm just passing through with the flat iron to add a nice curl to the ends and this is completely optional um, my hair takes well to heat because it's just so thick and it's very durable but if you just want to have your in straight, that's completely fine. And you would just put your flat iron on a, on a higher setting. Just finishing up and again 
I love adding the curls because it just adds a really nice volume and finishing touch. But overall, that's it. I hope y'all love this video like I do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.